Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner of the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. The season? Fall. The period of year? Close to Halloween. And we, it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today because what we're going to be doing is sharing with you some ideas that will show you how you can enhance your home for the holiday period, making use of holiday colors and also very specific themes for the holiday period. We hope you enjoy this inspirational video. We sure had a great time putting it together for you. Look, let's start with this one. A pumpkin. Definitely when we think of Halloween, we think of jack-o'-lanterns. We've got a ceramic jack-o'-lantern in this particular case. And we've got the concept of the symbolism of the holiday through the jack-o'-lantern. The use of colors, well, we've got some oranges, reds, yellows. We've got some orange roses. We've got some spray roses. We've got some of our mini sunflowers in yellow. We've got glad with yellow and orange built into it. And of course, all of these great rose hips uh, provided by the great folks at Blooming of Belloit and Belloit, Wisconsin. It definitely gives us a holiday theme. It definitely creates the feeling of Halloween. And it does it some more effectively than just simply sticking a, pa a pumpkin out somewhere or a skeleton. We're integrating flowers with our symbolism in this design. Let's see what else we have that we can share with you that will give you similar effects that I think you'll find useful. Here is a great design. Huh, this one's a fun one. A platter, a platter. And notice that we got our little ghoulish friend sitting on the platter. We've got all kinds of things ranging from our palms, our yellow palms, our green palms. Again, some of our great rose hips provided by the folks of Blooming and Belloite. Some physocarpus foliage, which is kind of crumpled and works in very, very nicely. This is a design that's best looking down on uh, rather than sideways. And I think that I would suggest this not so much for the dining room table. I don't think I'd care for this on my dining room table. But it would work very, very well as a coffee table design uh, in the living room and definitely gives across the feeling of the holiday and it does it in a really, really neat way. It would enhance and really make your, your place feel definitely Halloween-y. And I think that this is a great example of how we can integrate flowers and holiday symbolism to come up with something that is really special for this particular great holiday. Okay, now let's see, what else do we have? Oh, we've got a couple of other great things that we'd like to share with you today. I think you're gonna like this one. This is a very, very pretty vase arrangement. If you look at it, you've got here a arrangement. It's a high style design. It is linear. It is done in a container. It incorporates a variety of different things into it. Uh, we've got our lilies. We've got our roses. We've got our gladiolas. A lot of people have the idea that glads happen to be a, uh, a sympathy flower, but really you can use gladiolas in so many great things because they come in so many great colors. And in this particular case, our glads are yellow and orange. They're really, really pretty, and they make a striking effect. We also have some hydrangea provided by the folks of Blooming of Belloit in Belloit, Wisconsin. We're using the lace cap seed pod hydrangea that enhance our design, and it gives a nice kind of feel to it. Now, just looking at this design alone, you'd automatically think fall because it's got the fall colors of orange and yellow built into it, and it works very, very well in that capacity. However, I'd like to share with you, my viewer, a little trick that you can do in your home, and it works really, really well. You can take a design that has colors of a particular season, AKA fall, and yeah, it says fall, and yeah, it says kind of Halloween, but look what I can do, a very, very simple trick. Take a stuffed animal, a figurine, something like that, and place it next to that design, and notice how that's definitely gonna make a statement. Now there's no doubt that this is Halloween. We've got our little ceramic figure of a ghost. Our little ghost is sitting next to our fall design. It definitely says this is a Halloween design for this particular holiday. This kind of trick you can use on a sideboard, you can use on a mantle, you can use it in an entryway. And it's a great way of integrating things that you may have around the home. Containers, ceramic figurines, stuffed animals, things like that. And then taking them and integrating them with flowers and floral design that has the appropriate colors to the season, you can come up with a great effect. It's a really easy thing to do and it works so, so well. What do you think, my viewer? Pretty cool, huh? All right, before we finish our brief demonstration here today, we've got one more thing that we would like to share with you. And I think that you're really gonna like this one. And this is one is special. Look at this, wow. Our staff has gone all out on this particular one. Look at this design. We happen to have here as our base a box. The box says potions, potions. So it definitely is getting the idea in of our little witch. 
Notice our little witch is sitting here looking very happy for herself because she's there with her potion box. Um, it is a very elaborate piece. We've got all kinds of things in here. As far as our flowers are concerned, we have our gladiolas back here. We've got three of our Fujis, Fuji mums, placed here in towards the center here. Uh, a couple of our carnations, orange carnations with a little touch of red in them right over here, which is very, very pretty. Um, we've got some other things going on here too. Curly willow that's giving us height on our design and gives us that kind of uh, fall, fl uh, change of uh, season kind of feeling. Some of our physocarpus foliage worked in here as well. And then if you look very, very carefully, we've got lots of berries, seasonal berries. Seasonal berries are a great thing because they can make your designs extra special and really enhance your designing in a very nice way. We've got two kinds of seasonal berries uh, provided by the folks of Blooming and Belloit. This is crab apple. Crab apple, isn't that cool stuff? It's really nice and we're working some of that. And then also tucked in are some of our rose hips. Rose hips throughout the rest of the design. Seasonal berries are a wonderful way to enhance your designs, make them feel very, very contemporary, and come up with a really, really nice effect. This kind of design is great for an entry hall, entry hall area. It would work very, very nicely on a sideboard, uh, possibly on a mantle. It definitely says Halloween. And I think you can see how when we start playing with both the colors of the holiday as well as with thematic elements like ghosts and witches and things like that, that we can come up with some truly spectacular designs that can make our homes look so much better than just sticking the figurine themselves. By mixing them with flowers, look at the effect that you can get. Well, my viewer, we've covered a lot in a very short period of time. It was a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. I think that in this brief inspirational video, you've seen how you can take some Halloween colors and also some very specific thematic elements in terms of symbols incorporate them together to come up with some beautiful things with flowers. It has been a pleasure to welcome you into our classroom. On behalf of all of us here at Rittner Floral School, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner. We thank you for coming in and visiting with us today.